hello guys. Um, it's Karinara here. So today we are visiting Lurie Cavern. Welcome. Lurie Caverns is the largest cavern in Eastern America and the most visited in the United States. Designated as a U.S. registered natural landmark in 1974. This is naturally so beautiful. Super beautiful. There's a whole arch of rocks on here hanging from the ceiling over here. So beautiful. Hello everyone and welcome to the Ray Caverns. As you walk through today, we just ask that everyone sticks to break pathways and don't touch any of the rock formations. You should have received a pamphlet with your tickets. The numbers inside of that are going to correspond to green sides and this is going to give you all your information today. This is going to be a self-guided tour and when you guys are ready, you're going to go straight down this hallway. Thank you. So there are numbers like 101 that describes um, these. So these are little things that um, we can read to find more about this. So like for example, Lurie Cavern, Lurie Caverns was designated as a national, national natural landmark in 1973. The actions of seeping water and shifting soils continue to affect this underground system and occasionally affect the walkways along t the torus. Be aware of your surroundings. These are tons of rock formations together. Look at all of them. There are tons of stalactites and stalagmites on the ceiling. Like these. So as you can see, it says, please use the handle. So, and then it's just a picture. So that means we cannot touch these formations of rocks. Use the handles because caves tend to be slippery and moist. So now we are at 102. Oh wow, there's a big, big arch over here. So here, as you can see, it's also, it's very moist. It's over here, it's very kind of slimy. Like over here. green bubbles in there. Do you see that? Oh my gosh. That looks like tentacles of an octopus. It looks like a big animal's mouth with lots of sharp teeth. Oh wow, look at those. 
Over here is dry and over here is really kind of wet. So we are now at 103. 103 is the fish market. Yeah, that looks like some fish, all right. We are now at 104. It's called the Dream Lake. Dream Lake creates the illusion of a small sea of underwater stagmalite, but that is just a part of the reflection of the ceiling. Dream Lake is the largest body of water in Lurie Caverns, covering 2,500 square feet. The deepest part of the lake is between 18 to 20 inches. Look at that. It's a yeah, it is an illusion. It's a really cool illusion. It's just a it's just the reflection of the ceiling, but down there is a reflection and down there is a one, a real. We are now at 105. 105 is called Pluto's Ghost. Ugh. Super cool. 106 is called Skeleton Gorge. This is 107 again. And this is 107 and it's also called Pluto's Ghost. We are now at 108. It's called Titania's View. Yes, it really is beautiful. Yeah, there is a white color thing right there. Looks like a like a waterfall. So cool. Now 109. 109 is called Giant Redwood and Overlook. We are now at 110. 110 is called Sarah Ken's Tent. Oh, look at those smooth rocks. Looks like a big, giant, shark, dirty tooth. We are now in 113. 113 is called the Cathedral. Cathedral, yep. Yeah. So these lights um, make the cave really beautiful. Um, and this one kind of looks like a moon or sun. So yes, the path walk is really bumpy. Hmm. So here, I don't know if you can see it, but it says, please do not touch. Now, um, 115 is called the wishing well. So it says the Luring Caverns, Caverns Wishing Well is the deepest body of water in the caverns with a depth of six feet in the center. This part is called the Wishing Well. In the sun, maybe I will get my wish. Oh, wow. This is so cool. Maybe I'll get my wish. Yeah, maybe. Oh, that's, that's the amount they collected. You see the amount they collected? Well, those, that's a lot of money. I have some coins right here. For 116 now. Called the Morrison's Hall. So now 118 is called Veterans Plague. So here it says, um, so there's this cool reef with American flag. It says veterans from Page Country uh, who lost their lives in Vietnam. That is super cool. And here there's a list of names and all. Wow. At, for 119, this is, this is the last station um, as in of here. So it's called Steven, Stebbins Avenue, and it also says, please do not touch. Yeah. 
so here, oh wow. Wow, I, so we're at, we're exiting Lori Caves now and look at us. So guests, Lori Caverns, thank you for supporting the many jobs and live livelihoods in this community. We look forward for your return to visit. Thank you. Lorray Caverns Cooperation. I really like that. We are now at the historic car and carriage caravan museum. So you see all these old cars back now we don't have all these long, um, long fronts. So think about for example this one the 1915 Doge. This car right here and compare it to now the 2021 Tesla. From this to a Tesla. This one has half of its engine and engine open. Oh, look at this, 1932 Rolls Royce. Think about the Rolls Royce we use right now. Wow, this one's so interesting. The 1932 Bugatti Type 4A. Look at this. Has like some kind of plastic layer on the top. I don't know if that's just um, how they modeled it here. But that looks super cool. This is the 1931 Ford Model A. These are super cool. We are about exiting now. Okay, so we are now at the Rope Adventure Park, as you can see. There's a whole lot of activities there. Um, I have my harness on, but me and my mom are going to go. Um, we are going to go there, and my sister Zara is going to go on the mini adventure one. So we have our mini harnesses on.
Melo? Melo. Oh, did it all para <laughs> you mean? So now we are in the Lure Valley Museum. We just got off of um, the adventure park. So it looks like this is, that's the exit. So this is the open entrance. These look like one of the carnival games where you take the ball and try to put it in there, but it always Does bounces it out. Yeah. Oh, look at this pilot. Look, a pilot costume back from the old days. Oh, wow. This is a soldier's um, clothes, right? No, that's a, is that a soldier clothes? That's a pilot, I think. No, yeah, it's this army. Is that's a bathtub. Wow. A revolver. Look, the baby tin bathtub. Oh, that's a bathtub. Look at this baby tin bathtub to promote good health and energy for play. There are tons of papers here. Oh, look at those masks. Masks. Oh, it's a tin. Oh, my gosh, I feel so bad. A tin bathtub. Oh, look at that. It's gonna hurt your bottom. Oh, wow. Sewing machine. That's a show. Sewing machine? Yeah. Wow. Coffee meal, this one. Oh, so where is coffee. here? Did Daddy say this one? Coffee meal? Oh, wait, that's a coffee meal? Mm -hmm. This? Yeah. So, do you spin this thing? Put the Spin coffee it up and down. Put the coffee there. Spin. Oh, look at these old bookshelves. That's not a bookshelf. That's a sewing uh, um, something. Cabinet. Oh, wait. That, yeah, that is a sewing School cabinet. School cabinet, yeah. Hi. Oh. Hey. Hi, Zara. Last time. Okay, so, so this is a packet of um, sand. Uh, we bought this from the store in there. So what you do is that you have this mini sheet of what you can collect. So um, you can just pour these in and shake it um, into this water to see what kind of gems you find. There's also, in here in Lure um, Valley Museum, there's also an outer bag right here. So you get one extra gem. So um, I'm going to do it now. So basically, we just take it out and um, pour the sand in and that's all. Okay, so here we just um, unpacked it. So now we're gonna pour it little by little. So just like this. So I think we already found some. Um, some are just out in the open, but others are very small. So we just lift it like this. We put it in here and just shake it. Okay, so here we found, uh, I think this is a, yeah, this is kind of a crystal, um, and we can see what we find here. So just like this, there's also a very small one, so we can either just leave it there and pour in the others, or we can just take them out and, you know. 
So just like this. So there are there are a variety to collect. Um, I'm hoping we get at least like one of them. Oh, so we have lots of small ones too. All of these. This this is um, interesting. Oh. So here we put. I'm I'm th yeah we put in here all the ones that we collect. So we can just pour it in or just do it the old fashioned way. So we're gonna just do it like this. So now now we're gonna do the whole bag. Uh, we're just gonna dump it in. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, we can already see some sticking out. Um, so we're just going to make sure all the sand dissolves so um, there's not any hidden ones. Okay. Oh, looks like we got a lot. Um, so here, this one's really interesting. That's a, like a moon. We put it in the Luring Valley um, Museum bag. Like this. So then when we get home, we can sort them out, jam mini bag, and do all of these. Goodbye, Lurie Caverns. It was a nice time visiting. We had so much fun. Goodbye, everybody. Um, thanks for watching this video. I hope you had fun with me. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.